In this video, we look at the Shure MV7 to see how it works in a noisy office environment and more specifically compare it with my trusty Rode Anti-USB Mini. In the box is the microphone itself with some mounting options, two USB cables and a mounting adapter. Both these microphones have one thing in common and that is all they need is a USB cable to connect the microphone to your laptop and you're good to go. The Rode NT-USB Mini connects via USB-C cable which is the standard these days. However, for some reason the Shure MV7 still uses the older micro USB cable to connect to your laptop. The other major difference is that if you have professional gear such as an audio interface, the Shure MV7 also supports an XLR input. In terms of size, the Rode NT-USB is nice and compact and I still prefer it when I'm traveling. The Shure MV7 is almost double its size. However, the main difference between these two microphones is that the Rode NT-USB Mini is a condenser microphone while this, the Shure MV7, is a dynamic microphone. What does that mean? Condenser microphones are sensitive and are preferred in a studio environment where the room is treated for sound. Dynamic microphones are preferred in a noisy environment such as a stadium, a concert or in this case a noisy office environment. Both microphones support audio monitoring. You can plug in any 3.5mm headphones or earphones and now you'll be able to monitor the audio. The Shure MV7 promises to deliver your voice with warmth and clarity and enjoy that professional radio sound you always wanted. Let me connect this to my laptop and see whether it delivers on its promise. I've now connected the Shure MV7 to my laptop. Let me connect the ear set so that I can monitor the audio. The first thing that I notice with this microphone is that all the office noise that I used to hear on my road suddenly seems to have disappeared. All I can hear is my own voice in my ear. The microphone has touch controls to control the gain of the microphone as well as the audio monitoring levels. To get the best out of this microphone, you need to keep it as close to your mouth as possible. For example, if I step back, the sound levels immediately drop. Similarly, if I were to speak from the side or from the back, you will notice that it immediately rejects all the sound that is coming from the side or from the back. And for this reason, I believe it's an excellent resource to use in an office environment. I will give a more detailed impression of this microphone after several days of use, but so far it is looking and sounding great. So that was a quick look at the Shure MV7, the dynamic microphone that will replace my condenser Rode NT-USB Mini. But as I mentioned earlier, when I'm traveling, the Rode is still a better option because of its portability. That's it for now. Do leave a comment. What kind of microphones do you use in office? If you have not used a dynamic microphone before, would you consider buying one? 